Hey folks, I want to talk to you about one of the most awesome fish catches that I've had this year. It's teamed up on my Daiwa Tattoo Elite Series frog rod, the River to Sea Fat Mat Daddy Frog, and the Daiwa Tattoo SV Reel. Well, super important was the SV Reel because I actually rolled up to the Cypress Street. It had an overhanging bush. I skipped my frog up underneath the overhang into the shade of that cypress tree and I make one twitch and this thing just goes and he eats it and it's that noise that I would love to have on my ringtone because I'd pay attention every single time I set the hook I got the fish boat up 50 pound Daiwa J braid crank 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 and instead of going down and lipping this fish I swing this fish in the boat grab the braid around my hand I even cut my hand a little bit got the little scar right there for it and weighed it in and it's 5'8". I love the bite, the hook set, the land, everything was awesome. Let me tell you about the frog. The Fat Mad Daddy frog has a little bit flatter bottom. A lot of people like it, uh, a, a keel to it for walking a frog. I like the flatter bottom because I want to fish it over mat. I can make this thing walk really well. It has oversized frog hooks in it that are a heavy, heavy gauge because you're fishing braid. And then that flat top on it allows that when that a little pressure gets those hooks exposed so then you get a good hook set and then it has the rubber legs on it not silicone so you don't get them where they actually flare out a lot better with the rubber and that's what makes the fat mat daddy frog one of the best frogs on the market from river to sea